welcome back to Vlogmas. I'm freaking exhausted. Um, I ain't gonna even lie and try to like act like vlogging every day is simple. Um, life is not great every single day. Um, I'm just kind of like going through it and it sucks because I really felt like things were changing for me. In the past few weeks, um, I just kind of like let everything go, stopped worrying about what I couldn't control, and was like, I was golden for like a couple of weeks. I was real good. And basically, with drill weekend and work and everything, it just like, <laughs> fan. And... I don't want to get on here and vlog every single day and make you guys think like that my life is awesome and great 24-7 like because everyone has bad days and I really feel like the bad days that I have been having, I, I don't have control over them honestly to be 100% honest. I do not have control over them and I know that God wouldn't put me through what I'm going through for no reason at all. Um, there's a reason behind it and I talked to my friend about it today and like we both just came to the, the conclusion that like I was blessed for two weeks of amazingness and you can never have a perfect life. Nobody is perfect except for the Lord and like he died on the cross for us. So no one can be completely perfect. And when life is going good, the devil will try to like find ways to to seep himself into that. Like the devil will try to get in in any way, shape and form that he can and and I feel like it's me being tested right now. Like I 100% wholeheartedly know that I'm being tested right now. And I feel like I have been given enough guidance over the past few months that I should know how to deal with it and know how to cope with it. And I'm just going to keep continuing on my path to like look to the Lord for guidance and support and I know that it's all going to be okay. And I've like broken down. Like today I cried at work um, because it's just been one thing after another. Like to literally get to work and have someone give me the information that I received. It was just like people always are going to have something to say. Like it's the devil creeping in. Uh, in my case, like the military is... is Honestly, 100% wholeheartedly, the military is exactly like high school. The military is actually like less than high school. It's like elementary school. Like I hear a new rumor about myself or new information about myself every single day. That's disheartening, but like I'm really just trying not to let it get me down and I'm trying to focus on my faith and I know that that will help me get through it. I cry when I get frustrated. Like when I get frustrated because I know that there's absolutely nothing that can be done. Like I have no control over it. I cry out of anger. Like I don't even feel the tears coming out. It's just like my body's reaction. Like I wish I could punch you, but instead I'm going to cry. Like that's how I react. And I just need a break. I'm tired. I am freaking tired. The military is really starting to wear on me. And like, I'm only in year seven. I don't even know. No wonder people be broke AF when they get, get out of the military. Like, you're, it, it just crushes your soul, honestly. Like, I don't know what else to say about it other than for every good, there's, there's at least three bads. And that sucks, and you just have to learn how to deal with it. It's a, that's a whole nother video, though. I can make a whole nother video. Anyways, in today's episode of Vlogmas, let me just break in and say this like, like it's a normal video. Um, I just got off work, and 
I need to clean. I need to deep clean the house because Rain, my dog, got sick. You saw that in my last video. So I'm going to deep clean while I have the freedom to do so because he is still at the vet. He will be at the vet probably for a while. Um, I'm really sad about that. That's probably another reason why I cried today. And I think... So I think we're going to clean. Um, we're also going to... Let me just... We're going to clean. We are also going to probably go and get sushi because I'm craving that. And I feel like I'm worthy of that after the day that I've had. And I'm going to watch Christmas movies. I'm going to play Christmas music while I'm cleaning. And just kind of, you know, chillax. They didn't give me soup so I said I want soup this time um, it's just miso soup if you've never had miso um, I'm pretty sure it has tofu in it I could be wrong but I I think hey one well, of my light bulbs went out that sucks I think it does have tofu in it though um, and then I'll show you I'll give you guys up close and personal of what the sushi looks like what it look like what it look like all right so Ooh, good. here is the dynamite roll catch up on the vlog misses of other youtubers i like to do this at night so i'm probably gonna light Ooh, that's brat I'm probably gonna light the candles as well, um, just because I feel in the mood. I just wanna be chillaxing, like chillax. All right, guys, so I am totally frozen right now because I had like a, honestly, I had an electricity like fiasco happen with my house. Basically, my electric bill has been super cheap the whole entire time since I moved into this house. And my last bill that I got was through the roof. And I know this video is like vlog style, but I really want to show you stuff that I got for Bible journaling. Um, I've been slacking and honestly, like I'm very disappointed in myself because like my faith was really like on the right path and my focus lately I feel like has just been kind of drawn back from that and it should never be that way. So um, I'm just trying to get myself together and yeah, just do better. I mean, I've been falling asleep after editing videos just literally getting in bed and passing out and it's like you could have taken two seconds to pray so that upsets me that my mind has been working like that and it's no wonder that the devil's been creeping in on my life uh, i did a whole video on this bible um it's called literally the jesus bible and since i did that video i've purchased tabs I buy like these little bookmark thingies that I have are super cute and I actually get all of the stuff for that from a shop on Etsy. This is another one that I did. Um, it's, 
I'm not as creative as most people are on YouTube. There's two people that I really follow that do Bible journaling just because I like their style and it matches me. Um, so that's how I found the people who make these kits. So the kits are by, by the well for God. That is the name of their, their shop on Etsy. And they also have Instagram and they also have Facebook. So basically you get a kit that comes in a bag like this. And the Christmas one was called Adore Him. So basically at the beginning of every month, they do a kit. And the kit has like, well, this one anyways, has every single day for Advent. For 25 days, there is a little book like this that has little things, devotionals that you can read. Um, the approach for this one, like at the beginning, it always says the approach. In this one, it says it's 25 days of content there's devotional content followed by a day of simple scripture or hymn for you to meditate on. It comes with quite a bit of, of, of stuff. Like this is all, all of the stuff that you get in the kit. It's, it's a lot. All right. So this is like the extra. You always get like an extra pack thing in here. And it looks like it comes with a cute stamp. But it also comes with some of the... Um, bookmarks I was talking about but this is the actual adore him kit so this was on the outside Jesus warms my heart you also always get some of these paints which are really cool because I don't have to buy a whole entire paint kit I can just use these and I like that way better than buying the whole set there's more of the bookmarks. You get a whole pack of these like cutouts. This is pretty thick. Like I know you probably can't tell, but it has super cute cutouts that are the same colors. And then these are the biggest thing that I like with, with her kits is that you always get these clear stamps. And if you go to Hobby Lobby, stamps are a fortune. So for the price of this kit, it's just a way better deal because you get everything. Like if you bought this at Hobby Lobby, I know it would be expensive. Um, there's stickers. I like the stickers because they're always see-through enough that you can still see the Bible underneath of it, like the wording. But these stickers are so cute. I really haven't looked at this kit yet. This is kind of my first time looking at it. You always get three, like these can be bookmarks or inserts whatever you want them to be, and they're always double-sided as well. And then you always get these letter stickers that match the color that they have going. You also get usually about three of these buttons, and you don't have to use these in your journal. You can, like, wear them or do whatever you want with them. Um, but I try to use them in my journal because I just don't have anything that really... Okay, so I just finished with the Bible journal, and I feel like it came out really cute. There's also a million other ones that I want to do. I'm on um, day eight now of the reading. Um, probably going to finish up day eight, and then I'll read the rest tomorrow. But I thought it was really funny how, like, I, everything just relates so much to me, and what's been going on in my life. So um, I found some other ones that I really want to journal, but I can do those on another day. I don't expect to journal every time. I just like to read what's in the book that you get in the kit. And then I like to read the verses that it tells me to read in my Bible. And then I journal, I journal every, every once in a while. Um, usually on Sundays, but anyways, I'm going to show you this. All right, so there's a meteor shower tonight. I'm about to go take my dog if he'll wake up to go outside and potty and I want to see if I can see the meteor shower but this is going to wrap up today's 
vlogmas episode um thank you guys so much for supporting me it's been way more successful on my channel than i thought that it was going to be and that's kind of exciting for me i'm i'm really excited to just keep making content and i appreciate all of my new subscribers I appreciate all of my OG subscribers. I love everyone. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow.